So welcome back. Solve the following simultaneous equations by elimination. And make sure you have seen my previous videos because I will go a little bit quicker now. All right, simultaneous equations at two at the same time simultaneously. And elimination method, we want to eliminate one of the variables by either adding or subtracting the two equations. Now, can I add, can I subtract? What do I have to do? What uh, or which variable do I want to get rid of? And looking at the question, I already noticed, hang on a minute, something strange is going on. Well, it's not really strange, but you have to notice that it has to be nicely ordered. The axis, the y's, and the numbers should be on top of each other. Is that the case now? No, it isn't. Well, does that really worry me? No, it doesn't, because I just have to rearrange the two equations so they're nicely aligned. Now, the top one, x plus y equals 7, I leave it as it is, and I'll make sure that the second equation follows the same order. So I need, have to have my x first. So the minus 3x, and here it is going to be a positive 3x. Now I hope you see what I've just done. Plus, well, the 4y is still there, and that equals, and the 23 is still there. Yeah. So before I could start working on this problem, I had to make sure are my x's, my y's, and my numbers nicely aligned. They weren't, but now they are. Yeah. Okay. Elimination method: adding or subtracting uh, the two equations in order to eliminate one of the variables. But the coefficients have to be the same then, eh? and they're not. So check my previous videos uh, for me uh, for some further explanation on that. Now I will just continue, and I will multiply this one by 3. I will multiply the first equation by 3. And if I do so, I've got to make sure that I multiply all the terms by 3. Because some of you are going to write down 7 here. Now hang on a minute. 7 times 3, that is 21. Yeah. Again, check my previous videos where I show that this is true. Huh? This is exactly the same as that. Okay, the second equation, I can leave it as it is, for y equals 23. Okay, now I could also have multiplied this equation by 4. Yeah, And which variable would I then eliminate? That would have been the y then. Uh, but in this case, as you can see, I'm going to eliminate the x. It doesn't matter which part uh, you choose, as long as you do it properly. Yeah? So it's really up to you. And that, of course, is the beauty of math. There's not one correct way of doing it. Yeah? You can get rid of the y, you can get rid of the x. Yeah? You can do all sorts of things. Anyway, I decided to get rid of the x, so I multiplied by 3. Okay, adding or subtracting. Yeah? I always take a moment to really think about that. I believe it's subtracting, but I am checking that. 3x minus 3x, yeah, that is zero for sure. So subtracting 3y minus 4y, so that's gonna be a negative y, equals 21 minus 23, that is minus two. I'm only interested in minus y. I want to know what y is, a positive one y, so that then is going to be two. So I found a value of y, still got to find a value of x. I choose one of the equations, and the top one really looks a little bit easier than the bottom one. Yeah, but it doesn't matter which one you choose, but I'll choose the top one. Yeah, less room for mistakes there. y equals 2, so plus 2 equals 7. Yeah, and I just want to remind you, do you remember these questions in primary? You had a little box, and they said plus 2 equals 7. And then you, uh, the whole class would say, it is five, the answer is five. Yeah, you put a five in the box. Yeah, that was algebra already in year three because seven minus two uh, plus two, take away the two, take away the two there, x is five. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little bit carried away. My answer is x is five and y equals two. Okay, that's the answer to this problem. Solving the equations simultaneously First, I had to put them in the correct order, then I had to multiply one of them by a particular factor, then I eliminated x, 
to find y. Then I substituted y in one of the equations to find x. You see quite a few processes going on, but if you do that neatly yeah, and structured, yeah, you really know actually what you're doing. Let me check this, yeah? I'll do it relatively quickly again. X plus Y, so it's going to say X, so 5 plus 2 equals 7. Well, it is, isn't it? Okay, the next one, 4Y, so 4 times 2, that is 8, equals 23. Minus 3 times X, minus 3 times 5, minus 15. And 23 minus 15 indeed is 8. Both equations are correct. That is my solution to the problem. Well done, John. Well done, you. You can do it as well. All the best.